my lovelies welcome to my channel here we are doing the monthly readings this is going to be for leo sun moon rising and venus how are you doing leo want to wish every one of you guys happy holidays to you and yours hope you guys are ready to celebrate right <laughs> Let's get into your reading, Leo. Spirit guides, ancestors, and archangels. What are the messages for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus? What can they expect for this month of December 2021? What is unfolding for them? What can they expect for this month of December 2021? Please give us the general energies as well as what is to be unfolding for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. How are you doing, Leo? Did you guys start your shopping, your Christmas shopping? I don't know about you guys. I have a huge family, and it's like uh, we're not even like halfway through. But then again, I have a tendency of leaving everything last minute. So, yes, 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 yes. Well, don't leave everything last minute, you guys. All right, one more shuffle. Spirits, what are the messages for Leos? Here we go for this month of December. Alrighty. We're starting off here with the Five of Cups. Leo, are you in your feelings? Five of Cups could be an indication of missing. It could also be an indication of looking towards the past, perhaps looking at the difficulties, heartbreaks that we've been through. The holidays is always a time where people have a tendency to reminisce a lot. It's okay to do so. It is absolutely normal. But try not to stay in that energy, Leo. Your next card here is the Eight of Wands. Quick movement. This is quick energy, feeling like you're extremely busy, like you're being pulled towards different directions. This could be with work. This could be career and personal life as well. The Eight of Wands also speaks about communication from someone with the Five of Cups here. With someone where you haven't had much communication in the past, or perhaps there was a falling out, perhaps there was a distancing of a specific individual where you were emotionally invested in, um, you may be hearing from them in this month. Again, keep in mind, the holidays is always a season where people have a tendency to reminisce. So if you are hearing from someone that is from your past, don't put all your eggs in that basket, Leo, because it could be temporary, okay? Just be cautious about that. All right, let's get into your reading. Your first card here is the Seven of Coins. Definitely looking towards the past, reminiscing about the past, reliving the past. Could be because you hear from this person or this individual that has been holding back for quite a while will be communicating or reaching out to you, perhaps expressing some type of feelings. And with the seven of coins, this is you analyzing or internalizing. Should we give each other the opportunity? Should we revisit the past? Should I open the door to the past? This is you internalizing, talking to yourself, trying to understand the energies that are starting to unfold for you. Your next card here is the nine of coins. So the nine of coins is definitely speaking about a bountiful type of energy. You're going to be going into this cycle uh, being much more financially stable. For some of you guys, this could be a raise, getting a raise from uh, work, career, your finances, um, whatever is connected to your finances. There's an elevation of stability here. Seven of coins is definitely something that it's earned. It's not something that just comes out of the blue. If you've been working really hard towards a project or you've been working really hard at work, um, and it almost seems like they kind of take you for granted or they don't appreciate your hard work and determination. Don't be surprised if there is an incentive, a bonus, um, or a raise that is unexpected to you. Um, even if you've been wanting to get a raise, it is unexpected because it will come very quickly uh, without them really telling you about the raise. It just kind of sort of happens. Uh, so be watchful about that. Um, but there is definitely a, a reaping of everything that you've been working very hard towards. Your next card here is the Seeker of Cups. So there is communication. Again, like I said, 
um, a person from the past for some of you guys. It could be a person from the past that you were emotionally invested in where things didn't end on a on good terms and they may be needing some type of guidance even if it's just an advice for others of you it could be that they're trying to have you understand them or pity them in a way uh, in regards to their finances so as an example what this could unfold is if you're dealing with a baby mama or a baby father that gives you some type of child support or something like that um, there may be, you know, telling you're communicating or expressing to you, well, I'm not doing that good. Financially, I'm struggling, that type of energy. So uh, don't be surprised if uh, you do hear from them. And it's almost like they're giving you an insight to what they're going through, but it has more to do with wanting your sympathy. Now, the next card here is the Five of Swords, Ego, and the Ace of Swords. So yeah, I feel like for some of you guys, especially those of you guys that ended some type of connection or some type of relationship that didn't completely end on good terms, I feel them coming back around and it's like they're trying to get not only on your good graces, but they're trying to get some type of sympathy from you. So it's almost like an expressive, um, you know, I wish we could have ended in better terms. I wasn't right mentally. I was going through a lot of things, that type of energy which in reality is just a cop out for their bullshit behavior. Um, but with the five of swords, I feel like they're not being completely transparent or completely honest only because ego is involved. With the ace of swords though, this is you understanding or knowing um, that the inform it's almost like you're very intuitive Leo and this is something that, you know, Leos are known for this, especially when we're talking about like reading people, you guys are really good at reading people. Um, with the Ace of Swords, though, I see like you're able to see through these lies or through this type of manipulative tactic, um, and you're not really falling for it. Um, but again, with the Ace of Swords, this is of speaking your truth. So again, if there was some type of ending that wasn't necessarily an ending, what I mean by that is they just kind of went ghost. Or they said, you know what, we need to give each other some time or some space. And you don't really, you're like in a weird space right now with someone um, romantically. Know and understand that when they do reach out, it is time for you to speak your truth. Meaning standing your ground and being completely honest about what you're feeling, what you're wanting, and what you're expecting, Leo. And finally, you have the six of coins. Being able to be at a position or in a position of giving and receiving if we're talking about relationships if it's been you in the past the one that is the giver the one that goes above and beyond for the relationship it's time to start demanding from your partner what it is exactly that you need from them i feel that the the more you progress into suppressing your feelings or your emotions because you feel like you're walking on eggshells or because you feel like your partner could become very defensive now is the time not to, you know, not to pity them. It's time for you to start demanding what it is that you expect in order to be able to receive that. Six of Pentacles does represent the willingness of the partner or those around you to want to cooperate and want to work with you as a unit. But you have to speak up, okay? So I hope that this gives you some type of insight, Leo. I wish you guys all the very best. Happy holidays, like I said. And I wish you nothing but prosperity. I'll see you guys. Bye-bye. Mm,